On this from Arshad Yusufzai, a political analyst. He joins us from Peshawar in Pakistan. Good to have you on the program. The Taliban have now seized five regional capitals since Friday. How have they been able to make such strategic gains in such a short amount of time? Well, the Taliban obviously had planned it well because they were waiting for the U.S. to leave out Afghanistan. And as soon as the U.S. withdrawal completed, in the middle of the night, I would say, they started to attack major cities. Initially, they took uh, border areas with a proper plan that they wanted to cut off the government from access to their neighbors. And after capturing many areas on the borders with Pakistan, Iran, and Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, the Taliban have now shifted their focus on capturing cities, and that too, you know, the, the capital cities of different provinces. Our efforts to fight back by the Afghan government, even with the help of U.S. airstrikes, unsuccessful? I believe so, yes. Uh, the U.S. Uh, airstrikes and the government efforts have failed to make an impact uh, because we have seen a surge in the Taliban fighting. The offensive has increased uh, in the past few days. Uh, in fact, the airstrikes have benefited the Taliban's propaganda against the government, as mostly civilians are killed in these airstrikes. And the Taliban are effectively using videos and, and this uh, information of the civilian deaths against the Afghan government and the U.S. The and it seems uh, to—sorry, uh, it seems to me that the government has lost its focus in fighting against the Taliban. Um, you know, the biggest prize would be Kabul, and the government would do anything to defend it. Apart from Kabul, uh, we have four major cities, mazar sharif uh, Kunduz, Herat, and Kandahar. So Kunduz has already fallen, and the rest are already under pressure. The Biden administration is making a last-ditch effort to secure a negotiated political settlement to give the Taliban a role in government rather than continuing its pursuit on the battlefield. But is it clear at this point that the Taliban isn't interested in negotiating peace? No, it's not. The Taliban have never refused to talk. Uh, they, they have always said that they want to negotiate and they want to proceed with the peace talks. But due to their military gains, their demands will definitely increase now, as they are in a better bargaining position th than they were before. And although the Taliban have publicly said that they don't want any ministries or governorships or any share in the government, I believe they are now certainly increasing their stakes. You said the Afghan government would do whatever it can to protect Kabul, but how much danger is Kabul in right now of being overrun? Well, uh, it is not yet in danger, I believe, <clears throat> because uh, Kabul is the heart of the country, and it seems that the government is focused only on defending it. Uh, similarly, the Taliban are not prepared, they are not in a position to launch a major offensive against Kabul, although they have uh, reached very close to at certain points. Uh, the Taliban will wait out. They will try to capture as many cities and uh, provinces as possible before uh, regrouping, regathering, and attacking Kabul. All right, we'll leave it there. Arshad Yusuf, uh, Yusuf Zai joining us from Peshawar, Pakistan. Thank you.